Right. To try and make my life easier, um, I'm going to use this bracket in not the way they intended. They intended it to be this way. And then you just kind of chop it off at whatever level you want. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to mount it this way because I want to bring the bracket up here and then I want it to come here and then do a right angle. Well, actually not a right angle because this isn't coming up at 90 degrees. <clears throat> so that I can bolt it onto the air duct that uh, it needs to be attached to. <clears throat> As previously mentioned, um, I'm going to lose the windscreen defrost mode. <clears throat> Um, purely because this is going to remove the need for the heater and I'm just gonna have to leave it that way it's it's not a big deal <clears throat> sorry I'm thinking again as I'm saying that hmm I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna give the, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to give this more thought <clears throat> maybe I can still use the original um, cast of my brain cell would work it really help the original vent system um, even though most of it's going to be covered up uh, so I'm going to cover up the holes that would blow onto your feet I'll have to make up a couple of panels and um, cover them up because the, the duct that was in there um, is now completely removed. Uh, you don't know what duct I'm talking about? Let me take you to see my duct. Duck, 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 duck. It's the other side, you idiot. Come for a walk. Walk for some cum. Uh, hopefully there's enough light in here for you. Uh, now... Uh, the duct goes across here and also goes with it is this bracket which um, is part of the center console mounting so I'm gonna have to figure something out there and oh, let me see if I can move this into position that is the duct I'm talking about so that is no longer going to be in position um, obviously there won't be any pipes going to the rear Everything is going to be done by that central unit or that new AC unit that I'm putting in. Um, I will keep this just in case somebody really wants to um, return the car to original. Or if somebody out there wants to buy it, let me know. I'm quite happy to sell it. Um, so these... Oh, hang on a second. Up you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. These are the holes I'm going to have to blank off. Not a big deal. Um... And then I've got to figure out a way to mount that unit. Uh, it does mean I will lose the uh, map box there, but I think I'm going to make up a, a new one. Um, nothing special. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. It's just a metal box, so I don't think it's going to be that difficult. And then I'll uh, flock coat it. So that it looks like a miniature version of the original. Um, it does mean that the uh, radio console that goes here will not be going in. I will have to make something else to fit in there. So, folks, um, it's going to be a long time before I get to the interior because I've got so many mods to do. And I've got to figure out, <coughs> if I could stop coughing, I've got to figure out uh, where to put the radio. At the moment, my brain, small as it is, says, shove it in the glove box, Gary. And I may well do that. Or maybe. Or no. See, I was going to say then I can put it in above the AC unit, but i got to be careful because this... Oh, God, I keep looking without moving the camera, sorry. This has to be able to fold down without hitting anything. So I've got to be careful of that before I set the height of the AC unit. Yeah. My advice would be, um, when you're fitting vintage air, don't. <laughs> it's such a lot of fucking work. Ah, oh, dear. And I'm not sure yet whether I'll be able to use the vent cables for the heater, even if it's just to go onto the windscreen. 
means I'll have to put a T-piece in to get the heater pipes through to the heater unit. Or, <clears throat> or I don't bother. And if I want heat, I just use the original. Don't know. Lots of thought. I tell you, this is going to be a fucking pig. It really is. I mean, I'll be glad when it's done and it'll be great. But, God, you have to crawl around in the car. And that's not fun. I don't give a shit how old you are. It's not fun. And you're leaning on, well, I'm leaning on the handbrake cable, uh, lever, seat mount, center console, all sorts of shit. Right, I've taken the bracket off again, got the angles correct, the top three sections are coming off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join whatever holes are left so that I got some adjustment up and down. Let me get on with that. Okay, that is roughly the position it's going to be in. Not sure about the block of wood. Maybe I'll polish it up. <laughs> then once that is in position, uh, I've got to make up the two brackets for the side, hold it in position. Then I can move on to the AC lines. I have decided not to connect the heater part of this. I'm going to rely on the current heater. Um, I will have to make up some panels to house the heater controls because where this now sits um, I'm going to lose that radio console area, speaker area and the control area for the heater etc and the vent. So I've got to figure something out for that. Won't be difficult but it'll just be have to give it some thought. Next is to make the two brackets up on the sides of this unit and fix it to the underside of the dash somehow. Boy, this is fun. Um, then what? Hmm. Above the unit, uh, at the back behind the vent knob, which is on the left there, just that little thing sticking down. I'm going to have to make a panel to cover up what you can see, which is the red part of the under dash. I may try and make a small glove box to go in there, I don't know. I would like to put the heater controls in there, but then they'll be sideways and I'm not sure how I think about that or what I think about that. Alright, let's get on and do those side brackets. Okay, um, here is before and after blanks. Sorry, this one's a blank. This is the one that's ready. Um, these are to hold the air conditioning unit to um, the under dash. Under side of the dash, the dash that is the side of the under. Gazunder. Gazunder. Um, <sighs> I think I'll probably powder coat these, probably in black. Uh, I just wanted to show you them. Um, I then will show you where they go and how they go. Uh, I haven't yet finished drilling the holes. So let me finish drilling the holes and putting in riv nuts. The one on the passenger side, easy peasy lemon squeezy. One on the driver's side, not so much. There's a dash in the way. Quick dash away, quick dash away. Yeah, it's going to be a real pain. Um, the, the, this hole, this is the one that bolts to the side of the unit. And obviously it will go in that kind of position. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, but doing the passenger so driver side, uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain. But I'll get there. Right. Here it is in the proximate position. Um, the bracket over the other side is mounted. Nothing's tight, of course, apart from my ass. Um, I'm going to get the bracket in on this side. Problem is, 
to drill the hole. This fucking dash is in the way. I have a right angle drill, but I still think it's going to be too big up there. So I'm going to have to take that dash out, which means I'm going to have to take the steering column shroud out, which means I'm going to have to take the steering wheel off. Why am I going to have to take the steering wheel off to get the fucking thing out of my way? Oh, Sagata Fragata. All right, let me just show you the bracket on the other side so you'll know what I'm talking about as to what's going to go on uh, the driver's side. Hang on, let me grab a light. There's the bracket with its little twist. I think that will do the job nicely. Uh, then, under the dash here, I've got all these wires to sort out. I don't know where they go, what they do yet, so I've got to go, got to go, got to go, got to do that. Um, but next, will be do the bracket on the other side, which, as I said, makes I've got to take the dash out. Pain in the ass, but there you go. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I can put the radio in here. Now, yes, it looks like a big gap, but I have to allow for this to flip down. So you've got to allow for that, and you've got to allow for the movement of the vent. I think um, I can do it. I'll have to make up a special panel. And I'm sure I'll have some spare leather or vinyl to cover it in. Still not sure how it's all going to work out below the AC unit. That's my next little challenge. And uh, also the, the vents. Uh, I don't know. I would like to perhaps put them next to the AC unit in some way, shape or form. Even if I have to put them next to each other on one side. We'll see. All right. That's it. Oh, Here's a teaser. Now, as you all know, it's lovely and warm here. Um, it promises next week to be down to 87 um, at the weekend. Which means next week, if I feel good, and I'm beginning to feel a little better, I must admit, if I feel good and the weather does what it says it's going to do, we are going to have a treat for the XK8. Yes, this convertible top for my XK8. This is a much better condition one than the one that's on there. The one that's on there is tan, but it's threadbare in a lot of places. This one is black, but it's not threadbare. So I'm really rather pleased about that. I will open it out and make sure before I put it in. But that's that's your teaser for sometime later next week. Now get out of that garage. Go do some shit. <laughs>